hello today i'll teach you how to print the middle element of a linked list so let's say we have a linked list so if this is a given linked list what will be our middle element we say we have total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have total of 7 nodes so the center one will be the fourth one so this is first node this is second node this is third this is fourth fifth sixth and seventh node so this node or this value 1, this should be our output. So I will show you two approaches to do this. The first approach will be to count how many nodes are present in the linked list. To get the count of how many nodes are present in this linked list, what you will do is you will use while loop to traverse the linked list and you will keep on incrementing count. Once you get count, next thing what you will do is, you will again traverse the linked list while traversing, if if we reach the node which is at count by 2, we are going to print the data. This is a very simple approach. Let's now discuss a second approach which is quite interesting. So I will be having two pointers, say slow and fast both will be pointing to the first node slow will move one node at a time while fast will move two nodes at a time so by this you can see when slow moves by one node fast will reach two nodes then slow moves to the next node fast moves two times faster than slow then at the third iteration if you see slow has reached here while fast has moved to the last node so if you see carefully since fast is moving at 2x the speed of slow when fast reaches the last node s will always meet the middle node you can check with more examples Let's say we have another linked list. So we'll start slow and fast from here. So the first iteration, slow will move over here. And fast will move over here. So fast has moved two elements. Second iteration, slow will move over here and fast will move two nodes for the third iteration slow will move over here and fast will move two nodes now s will move once for the fourth iteration and fast will move by two nodes so when fast reaches the last node, how you will know it is the last node? This node will be pointing to null. So when fast reaches a node which is pointing null, you have to print whatever is present in S. That is 9. So this will be our required output. So you can manually check. You can see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 nodes and there are four nodes over this side and four nodes over this side and this is the middle element so i think the second method is quite interesting let's write the code for this so now let's create those two pointers say node slow equal to head so by this line we are pointing slow over here now we will need one more node that will be node fast and this will also point to head so we have fast over here now we will use a while loop to traverse the linked list what will be the condition inside here when we are moving fast at a double speed there is a probability that at some case if fast lands over here 
if fast lands over here and if you try to move two nodes if you are trying to jump two nodes there is no node over here so there will be a problem and there are cases where fast will land over here depending upon how many elements are there in the linked list if it is even or if the number of nodes in the linked list is odd so if fast lands over here immediately we have to stop moving because it has reached the last node but if it has reached the second last node we have to check if the next node is the last node if this is not the last node then only we have to jump twice i hope you understand when you reach the second last node you cannot jump two times because there is only one node here so we have to first check if the next node is the last node if it is the last node you don't have to jump if it is not the last node we have to jump two times let's say over here if fast is over here we'll be checking if this is the last node this is not the last node so we will be jumping two times okay so now first let's cover this condition if fast while fast not equal to null and in this case fast dot next not equal to null we don't have to check for the slow pointer because fast is moving at two x speed of slow and it will reach the last node before slow so we need not check for slow so inside what you have to do we have to make slow move by one so slow equal to slow dot next now fast has to move with the double speed so we'll say fast dot next dot next what will this mean fast is over here what is fast dot next fast dot next is this node now this node's next so that will be pointing to this node so fast will be moving from here to here so this line will make fast move two nodes at a time so once fast reaches the last node this while loop will terminate and we'll come out of the loop so once we come out of the loop our slow pointer will be pointing to the middle element so we are going to directly print so we are going to print the data which is present at slow so it says slow dot data so this is how you print the middle element of the linked list so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you